Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this rainy Wednesday morning. Oh, it reminds me of school. Uh, Matthew 18, verse 35. And this is the last verse in Matthew chapter 18. And Jesus is getting to the crux of the problem. The whole reason why he told this story in the first place to the disciples in order to give them an understanding of how things operate in the kingdom of God. And he starts off this last verse in 35. My heavenly father will also do the same to you if each of you does not forgive his brother from your heart. So my heavenly father and Jesus acknowledged, even though he is God, he calls him my heavenly father. And there is a relationship in the Trinity, God, the father, God, the son and God, the Holy Spirit. My heavenly father, Jesus brings it all back. The story was built around a king who was going to give a perspective in the extremities of generosity and selfishness. And yet here Jesus concludes and says, my heavenly father. So he's saying, as the king has been represented in the story that I've shared with you, so will my heavenly father be to anyone who acts in the extremities of the content of the story. He says, my heavenly father, not Joseph, but God himself, my heavenly father will also do the same to you. Meaning that if you operate outside of the revelation revealed to you with regards to what God is like, Jesus is saying, my heavenly father will do to you. And what did the king do to the slave? He made him pay, but the slave could not pay. And yet God made him pay because God will make all of us pay when we're outside of the revelation of his will. And the revelation of his will is that he has invited us to come and share a relationship with him by grace. The law could not accomplish what grace has achieved. And Jesus is saying, my heavenly father is expecting you to operate in grace because it was grace that got you the ability to reconnect to almighty God. My heavenly father has offered you grace and he's expecting grace to flow from your lives in all the encounters that go wrong and right in your journey through life as a Christian. He says, my heavenly father will do each of you if he does not forgive his brother from the heart and the heart reality of forgiveness is not filled with superficial words. The heart reality of forgiveness is forgiving your brother, your sister from your heart. That means to stop thinking bad about your brother, to stop feeling bad about your brother and to stop doing things that are bad towards your brother within your soul. And it means to forgive your brother from the inner reality of your heart so that your heart is pure towards your brother, that there's no hostility towards your brother, that you are absolutely freed from any contamination of the affliction that has been poured out upon you as a result of the way your brother has treated you. God is saying he has given us grace beyond measure, grace in abundance, grace to the extremity in order that we might be the holy representation of this grace to everyone that ever offends us so that the light of almighty God might flow through our lives into the lives of other people in precious ways that they may see the good works of God working itself in you and call out to God our father in repentance themselves. Oh, brother, this is a fantastic story. And I pray that God's grace be upon you to minister God's forgiveness to everyone that's ever offended you. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Have a great day.